hear it. So he will smell around for food and listen around for steps of predators trying to get close to them. So as he walks, you guys might see that nose is going to be touching the ground all the time. And those ears are always up trying to listen for steps of any predator approaching. Now because of that, their main threat in the wild is actually people driving cars. So if you're driving around at 60 miles an hour, these guys are almost completely blind by the time they notice you're approaching, it is way too late for them. So, any messages, whenever you guys are driving around, always look around for wildlife, especially during sunrise. to what they eat. Alligators and crocodiles, these giant reptiles, don't just eat meat, they eat whole prey, whole animals. So on the line, we're using trim smaller pieces so we don't overfeed them. I know what you may think, how can you overfeed a big alligator with a piece like that? Remember, they are cold-blooded. Oh, make some noise for Leprechaun, the American alligator. The kids definitely cheered him on. The bleachers are kind of quiet. What's going on, guys? You nervous? It's okay. I'm teasing you. I know it sounds kind of weird, you know? What a Florida thing to do, cheer and clap for alligator teacher. On the first day of class, all these little kids are running around screaming. You don't know who they are. But by the end of the year, you know your whole class. Students based on their haircuts, their faces, their voices. And years later, those same teachers can identify former students as they age after not seeing them for potentially years. So it's not that crazy that we can identify the alligators as individuals. And in this pond, we have 60 American alligators and 8 crocodiles. Big swing and a miss from Louie. We gotta get him some glasses. Uh, jokes aside, they have actually incredible eyesight. They only blinds my Warhog! Nice job! I haven't seen Warhog down here in weeks. And that is the beautiful part about the feeding environment. They kind of come and go as they obviously educate you guys, but also 
give these giant reptiles the option to exercise. Just like us, we don't all go to the gym every day, they don't all go to the gym every day, but we certainly want to grant them the opportunity, and here comes the crocodile crab!